What's going on guys? Logs here. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be testing out the VPN to see if it works on Warzone at the sweatiest time of the day to play. So it's currently nine o'clock on a Sunday night. So that means everyone in the mother is on. Everyone's trying to get some games in before they have to go back to work tomorrow and then play again next weekend. So literally everyone is online. So we're going to get a whole ton of people playing the best players and the worst players at the same time. And we're going to see if the VPN actually helps us out and if we can get bot lobbies or we still get sweats. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I never play from 6 p.m till about 10 p.m because it's all sweats i mean that's the prime time for everyone to play especially during the week and on the weekend so i never play during that time because i always get sweated um so we're gonna see if the vpn helps and we're using no lag vpn because it's literally only for warzone like there's no other legitimate purpose for no lag vpn than trying to get bot lobbies in warzone we're gonna be using the turkey server which is actually one of the lowest ranked servers on the website i don't know why it's ranked at the lowest end it's either going to be the ping is too high for most people or maybe you're gonna get sweaty lobbies anyways because it's not as good for bot lobbies i don't know how they do the ratings i might have to look into that but we're gonna be using no lag vpn and we're gonna be using turkey today so let's test it out let's see if it works and yeah let's jump into it all right so we're over here on the game and just to prove that i have no lag vpn on i'm gonna go over to my account and my geographical region and as you can see up top, we got, uh, it says that I'm in Istanbul, Turkey. So clearly I'm not because I don't live there. Basically the game thinks I'm in Turkey. So my skill-based matchmaking is gonna be based off of Turkey players. So if the Turkey players are really bad, really good, it's gonna base it off of that. And it's gonna put me in a game where regionally I'm still in the United States where I live. So I'm gonna be connected to a server locally around here. So I have really low ping, but the game thinks I'm in Turkey. So my skill-based matchmaking is gonna show me having like a Turkish KD or I don't know, a really low KD probably. And it's supposed to put me in a lower bracket lobby with other like low KD players. So that's what it's supposed to do. We'll see if it actually happens. We're gonna do a uh, fill and battle royale quads. And we're gonna run about four or five games just to test it out. All right, so it put me in a game by myself and it's connecting people to me. So the VPN's working, obviously. Teammates are freaking mouse and keyboard. Um, so we'll see what levels they are. Really, really sweaty tonight. Yeah, they're gonna be high levels, see? It's not always gonna give you those bot lobbies, but I'm gonna play about four or five games. I'm gonna test fill and no fill, and then we're gonna compare the stats at the end. So let's just jump in real quick. I'll show one game and then the rest I will just fast forward because obviously you guys don't wanna see me die and die and die because I'm really not that good of a player, especially at night. I will say this guys, you can't really judge a player based off his rank right now because when Vanguard came out, it reset everyone's level on Warzone to one. Uh, so if you don't have Vanguard, you're not going to be a high level when the game came out. So that means the demons on Verdansk, if they never actually got Vanguard and played it before uh, Warzone came out, then they're going to be level one. But they're still demons. They don't lose all their skill because they got reset. So you can run into really good low level players. Uh, but we're going to drop fields. It's one of my favorite drops right on the scav. And uh, we'll see if anyone, any teammates follow. They might not. Who cares? So right now, I only care about getting guns. Double barrel's not my first choice. NZ is not my second choice. All right, all right, before you. Off the rip, all I care about is getting guns and then trying not to die. Teammate, please help me out here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I did not hear that guy at all. I Trust me, guys, my headset is wonky. So there's a person over here I just saw. My headset is not the best. So I actually ordered uh, Astros. Um, so hopefully that comes soon. Let me get this chest up here for ammo or armor plates. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get held each time like that. Oh, teammate coming in. Teammate, there was a Twitch streamer on here. So one of the enemies was a Twitch streamer. He had Twitch in his name. So whenever you run a TTVs, they usually are really tryhardy. And the reason is because if you have enough knowledge to stream on Twitch, then A, you have all the recording device and you, you know how to set it up. Whenever you run a TTV streamers, they are usually uh, a little bit above average. Um, so, I mean, they could be average players, but why would you... Uh, I would just stream yourself if you're just average. I mean, you gotta stream yourself if you're good. All right, all right, all right. Now I will say I am below average, like far below average, and I stream. So maybe I'm chatting shit. Who knows? 
But this guy's got a beam. Let's see if we can crack him. Yeah, that's a hard battle to fight. I didn't really account for his teammate to be right there, but it's all good. Hopefully I can win the gulag and come back. So I don't know if there's actually skill-based matchmaking in the gulag, but I have noticed I get matched against people who are pretty good sometimes, but then again, I get matched against people who are pretty bad also. So kind of just play it by ear. I know he's over here. There's no way. Let's see if I can assassinate him. I didn't even know where he went. I actually lost him. This gun is awful, dude. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, guys, I mean, it wasn't the best gameplay, but I will be playing more games, trying fill and no fill, and just comparing the difference at the end. So I'm gonna wait for all the stats for the games to come in, and then I will show you guys the stats and see if the no lag VPN actually got us bot lobbies or if we're still getting sweated on at really late times at night. So let's just jump on over to that. All right, so we're over here on Warzone stats. This is me, 2.43 KD. I should not be getting in bot lobbies and we are gonna look at the results. Ah, oh, man. So as you can see, clearly uh, we're still getting really high KD lobbies. These are still really good players in the lobbies, even using the VPN. So uh, I will say, I mean, their first game was at uh, nine o'clock. It was like 8.53. 1.36 so usually first game on is your best game on at least for my experience this was our worst game on this is the highest except for this one this quads one was pretty high too so this is from nine o'clock pretty much it was 8:53 till uh 9 23 so this is prime time for everyone to play as you can see i lost the gulag and i really got on most of the game i just landed hot and died but these are the average kd for the entire lobby so let's just look at the first one 1.36 average kd these are my teammates i had phil on for these first games the number one team was a 1.45 kd 12 kills so this guy probably streaming if he's got tv in his name that usually means they're streaming but let's find the lowest kd okay this is the highest kd 2.35 that's a high one uh 0.83 a lot of high kd all right 0.4 so this is your one bot team unless there's more um yeah so another bot team so 0.47 that's really freaking low these guys i'm surprised they got two kills to be honest but uh they placed 15th so they probably stayed around for a bit camped a little bit but as you can see there's demons level 21 is 1.16 there are demons in the lobby while i'm using the vpn so the vpn is not foolproof guys it doesn't always work it doesn't always give you the bot lobbies the the lobbies that you want to drop a, a million kills in all right so that was the first one this is the second game i played so this is at 903.98 still really high i mean 0.98 is what I can get in the morning uh, without using a VPN. So using one is crazy. I ended up getting two kills, lost the gulag. I actually shit on. I'm, I'm terrible at the game, I'll be honest. 2.19. So these guys, two of them on computer, but two of them on console. These guys shredded the lobby. These guys pretty much killed, I mean, 47 is a lot of people to kill. Uh, 0.58 though. These guys came in second. I'm guaranteed they just camped till the last second. Then looking through the rest. Not too terrible. This guy's demons. Uh, 0 0.57. 0 0.27. These guys are the worst in the game. These are like the bottom 1% of players. I don't know how. I don't know what they do to get a 0.27. But, uh, that's hard. That's really hard to get. A 0.27 KD as a whole team. 0.29 so you're getting bots but then you're getting high kds so it's a mix of everything man it's it's really not foolproof at all so if you think that using the vpn it will make it foolproof to get bot lobbies you're wrong all these games are with turkey lobbies so 0.11 this is the last one i played i played no fill so let's compare fill to no fill so this is 1.11 1.39 i think this is no fill as well no i had team okay so I actually, this is the best one, and I had fill on for that game, but this is the second best game, and I had no fill on. So I didn't have teammates, I searched without fill, and I actually got a pretty good game. So the team who won, it was a .76. This guy, 
sell out 16 kills 0.76 that's crazy this looks like a bodier game than the other one i don't know how it factors in but this i mean there's a lot of people over 1kd this looks kind of like a bodier bodier game this is definitely a bodier game uh, i don't know how it factors in but I think that game was better than this 0.98 lobby because these guys are kind of bad. These guys are good. It just takes the bottom and the top. So 0.27, very, 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 very bottom. And then you go all the way up here, 0.285, very, very top. It's going to meet in the middle. So that's pretty much the median. And that is pretty much it, guys. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be the video. Uh, if you want more videos like this where I test out the VPN or talk about the lobbies, talk about different things, please leave a like and comment. The like and comments really help support the video and it tells me what you guys want. If you like the video, if you don't like the video, and it'll tell me if I wanna make more of these. So this video was sponsored by eAdvantage. If you don't know, eAdvantage is the best gaming supplement you can take. You take it before you play. It's just a supplement you take and then you play and you get you cracked down. So use code LOGS for the discount. Otherwise, I am LOGS and I'm out. Deuces.